Why do you think there isn't more of a an embrace of diplomacy, especially among, say, the squad, where we would hope to to hear it and see it? Barbara Lee, for instance, she's condemned the cluster munitions, but uh, there aren't really calls for diplomacy. In fact, on a purely rhetorical level, and it's probably cynical, but we hear the voices who are remotely at all critical of the of funding this war in Ukraine come from the right. It's a, just a, a, a mind-boggling thing. I really don't understand it. I try to get hold of uh, the people in the Progressive Caucus any time that I can and talk to them. And usually when it's a one-on-one, they'll say, you're right, you're right, we have to do something. And they make promises and then they do, don't do anything. I think the Ukrainian community is very well organized, very well funded. Uh, I think the uh, majority of people in Congress are hawks. And once momentum for war starts going, let's remember, this is such a, um, a, 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 a corrupt system that we have where these Congress people take money from the weapons companies. There are more lobbyists for the weapons industry than there are members of Congress. You go into a congressional office and you will see in the office itself somebody that's coming, uh, that's, that's embedded in the office for a year coming from the Pentagon. So they are bombarded constantly with the message of uh, war, 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 militarism, militarism, militarism. And of course, and there's the issue of jobs, jobs, jobs uh, in their communities. Um, so, you know, those are some of the reasons. But the other is, I think that um, this war machine uh, does such a good job at its own propaganda and it has the mainstream media behind it. And thank goodness we have programs like yours, Katie, uh, and others where we can get the message out. And thank goodness there are people running for office uh, now for the presidency who are giving a different narrative because that's reaching millions more people. And eventually, just like we said in the case of Israel-Palestine, Congress and the White House have to catch up. The same is true in this case of Ukraine, because the opinion polls show it is less and less a popular thing to be spending billions of our dollars on this war instead of things here at home. Uh, and it's not going to be good for uh, the the. Uh, people running for office as the elections get closer.